Hey there, HR managers. Do you want to hear the two biggest issues that I see over and over again? As a diversity and inclusion consultant, I've seen a lot of companies make the same mistakes when it comes to building an inclusive workplace. So if you want to avoid falling into these traps, listen up. The first issue that I see is a lack of diversity on interview panels. You might think that having a panel of interviewers is a good thing, but if everyone on the panel looks and thinks the same, then you're not going to get diverse perspectives. If your panel all comes from similar backgrounds and experiences, you'll fall into groupthink and you'll miss out on valuable insights and experiences that could make your team stronger. To avoid this, you need to make sure that your interview panels are diverse. This means including people from different backgrounds, with different identities and different experiences. When you have a diverse panel, you'll be able to see candidates from different angles and make a much more informed decision. The second issue that I see is a lack of inclusive language in job adverts. When you write a job advert, you need to be careful about the language that you use. If your job ad is filled with jargon, industry-specific language, or terms that might be unfamiliar to some candidates, then you're going to turn them away. To avoid this, you need to make sure that your job adverts are written in plain language. Use words that are easy to understand and avoid jargon or acronyms that might be confusing. You also need to make sure that your job adverts are inclusive. Use gender neutral language and avoid stereotyping and make it clear that you welcome candidates from all backgrounds. For more insights like this, click on the link below to access our free mini series where we show all of the exact strategies that we use to create more sustainable DNI strategies for our clients.